welcome back to tapasya youtube channel okay today our topic is reflection of light at curved surfaces those who are watching first time my channel please like share and subscribe let's come to the point reflection of light at curved surface is before going to define reflection of light is we have to know about what we completed in earlier classes okay in earlier classes we have completed image formed in the plane mirror and image formed in the curved mirror and also we have so many doubts when image formed in the bulged surface if the image formed in the bulged surface and image formed in the plane mirror both are same or different is yes, automatically it is different why is yes, to know that reason we have to conclude all the topics end of the lesson we will cover all these questions is yes, one more question the mirror which is automobiles is it is plane mirror if it is plane mirror how image is formed if not image is how it is appear the okay, image appeared is small why yes one more question is can we focus all the sunlight rays at one point without using magnified glass can we get the the point of sunlight at one point by mirror without magnified is it possible or not and also angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection is it equal to curved surfaces or not is yes, all these questions we will get answer by the end of the lesson now come to the point what is the reflection of light okay reflection of light means the any ray which is fall on the surface of the mirror that surface is makes that light direction change where there are the change in the direction yes that is we can call as reflection of light when the light fall on the mirror the mirror changes the direction of light okay, the change in the direction of light by the mirror is called reflection of light that is the definition is yes, here one point you have to know what is the mirror yes mirror is what mirror is a polished surface like a glass with reflected almost all the light that incident on it how much light is fall on the mirror almost all it can reflects it cannot accumulate on that how much it fall on the surface almost all it's what reflected that we can call as mirror yes mirror are of two types of mirrors are there yes one is plane mirror another one is spherical mirror and also spherical mirror are of two types one is concave mirror another one is convex mirror reflection of light at plane mirror now it is a plane mirror this plane mirror almost all it has the coating outside now ray which is fall on the surface of the mirror that we can call as incident ray this ray we are calling as what incident incident ray is yes, when it is fall on the surface of the mirror okay, which is getting reflection yes it is getting reflection from the mirror okay this ray we can call it as this ray we can call it as reflected ray reflected ray okay it is the incident ray which is fall on the surface which is reflected ray which is goes from the mirror is yes, from the incident ray and reflected ray here we have to draw one of the line okay this dotted line we can call as normal this line we can call it as normal now where there are 
angle between normal line and incident we can call it as angle of incident the angle between normal line and the reflected okay, that we can call it as angle of reflection okay, this you can call it as angle of incident ray angle of incident it is angle of reflection is yes, the angle made by incident ray angle of incident angle made by reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection is yes, always angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection okay this is what law of reflection and also one more point we have to know yes that is incident ray normal line and reflected ray all are in same plane incident ray and reflected ray and normal line all are in same plane okay this is what okay law of reflection of light of plane mirror reflection of light by spherical mirror according to according to first law of, first law of reflection angle made by the normal line to incident ray is equal to angle made by the normal to the reflection angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection yes okay which one is make angle normal line okay normal line makes angle with the incident is equal to angle made by the normal to the reflection okay this is first law of reflection okay this is true to both plane mirror and spherical mirror what is the law we applied okay this is applicable to the plane mirror as well as spherical mirror okay we can find the normal line easily in plane mirror yes it is not quite easy to the curved surfaces and uneven surfaces okay, which is easy only in the plane mirror finding normal to a curved surface is to know curved surface first you have to take the piece of slipper little bit piece of the slipper sole is to that you have to keep pins okay these are the pins we have to put inside now how it looks like okay these are looks like normal okay this indicates to us normal this indicates to us normal okay all are perpendicular to each other okay this point shows normal point yes how would be the yes normal in curved surfaces now look at here this one i make it bend inward if it is bend inward how it should be like this it is bend inward yes when it is bend inward how would be the pins okay pins are like this pins are like this see all the points yes i made a line like this okay this line we can call as normal okay this lines we can call as what normal okay where there are all the rays are converged all the rays are converged okay that's why this mirror we can call as concave mirror in concave mirror 
all the normal lines are converged. When you put in outside, how it shows? Like this, how pins are goes? It is one pin, it is another pin, it is next pin, it is another pin. Yes, you have to draw the normal lines. Yes, I draw normal line like this. Yes, all the points. Okay, these are the normal lines are met one place. But okay, these pins are diverge. These pins are what? Diverge. Here the pins are converge. Here in these pins are diverge. That is convex mirror. Yes, here we find out one is concave mirror, another one is convex mirror. In concave mirror, okay, all the points, all the normal lines are met one place. Okay, that place we can call as center of curvature. This place we can call as center of curvature. Okay, this C we can indicate as center of curvature. Now see here, it is the plane mirror. When the plane mirror, you have to make it press inward. When you are pressing inward, the pins are, yes, looks like converge. Yes, where you have to draw the lines, the lines we can call as normal lines. All the normal lines are met one place that you can call as center of curvature. Yes, this form you press outward. Yes, then the pins are diverge where there are. Okay, diversion takes place that you can call as convex mirror. Okay, this is concave mirror, it is what convex mirror.